Hello and welcome to this video. You're looking at ggplot charts within Power BI and you can see that these charts are behaving dynamically using the drill down. So let's get started. First of all, we will get some sample data. So we can see the data, load the data within Power BI environment. Let's view the data. You can see the data. So looking good. Now let's start building a chart. First of all, let's create a normal bar chart, which is available within Power BI. Note that this is not a ggplot chart. It's just a normal Power BI chart. So we drag these two values, the products and the sales, and you can see the chart is alive now. Now let's create a R chart now. Drag a R chart somewhere on the screen and enable the script visuals. So to get started, you will have to drag some values onto the R chart and you can see the area where you can write the script. It is not working at the moment because it's it's waiting for some fields to be available. So we drag the product. And the sales. And you can see that we have some code there already written. Now don't touch this code because though it looks it's commented out, but this will actually work for you. So start writing your code below that. So let's start writing our R code here. So I'm using options skip equals 999 to switch off the scientific notation. I'm using the library ggplot. And then here is the code for our ggplot chart. So the data set is or the data is the data set which has been automatically created. And aesthetics on the x axis, we want to show the product. And on the y axis, we want to show the sales. And we would want to plot uh, a bar plot with stat equals identity. That means whatever is the value of y would be used. And here is the classic theme. And let's run this. And we should be able to get a ggplot chart. Let's bring some color into the chart. I would change or add a fill command. So fill equals product would give us different colors for each product. So if we run this now, we should be able to get the colors. And you would also notice that this chart is going to behave dynamically. And once you change or select a particular product, your chart is automatically get updated. Let's create a new chart and this time we would use the R Studio to do our coding. So let's drag product and this time I'm going to drag the cog so the cost of goods sold. And we have the data set. Click on this button and it will open up in R Studio. So I'm going to copy the code for the plot. This time the data set has a single quote around that. So the chart is working. And I'm going to change the data set because remember in our um, in our code in within Power BI, they are referring this data set as data set, not with the with the quotes around that. So I've changed that, and I'm just going to copy this code now and take it back to Power BI. So let's paste the code in this area now and try to running it. So we have our chart. 
if I go and interact with the, the Power BI chart, the, f the first chart which we created, we would see that both the R charts or the ggplot charts are behaving dynamically. So it's working in a drill down environment. So whatever product you select, you would see that the values in both the charts on the right hand side are changing as well. So I hope that you find this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.